Hey folks, how's it going? This is Max from Woodsman's Finest and um, if you know me, you probably want to know ever since when do I need glasses. Well, I don't need any glasses. Anyways, um, this is a new series I came up with. Killed by Woodpecker. Um, this is a new series I came up with, um, I wanted to share and I'm going to call it, or I'm calling it, One Book to Read. Well, this whole idea basically came up because as you probably know, I'm a very big fan of one tool options. Um, whether it is the, the carving axe series or my hook knives, um, my clothing out there, my backpack, my camera, whatever it is, I like tools that are so well designed that they're serving me in, in several different purposes. Well, I always have too much stuff with me, but I'm really trying to find the stuff that is serving me and not only decently, but very well in several different aspects. Um, the same it is with, with, with literature and with education, in my opinion. Um, the day only has 24 hours. Um, probably all of us really love YouTube um, and the like for, for the potential that it has to, where we can quickly uh, um, uh, educate ourselves about um, new equipment, new techniques, stuff we want to learn. But all of this is, uh, is very difficult difficult to distinguish between what is really worth the time and the money right um, and it's the same with books um, I like reading I like um, also using my, my Kindle on my my cell phone that is just shooting this video right now and um, I'm gonna do do more videos like this where I'm also showing what I use what I'm reading on my Kindle right now but um, in general I wanted to kick this off with bushcraft um, the reason for that being that probably most um, people doing what I do and people are way more um, specialized in, in what we're doing um, would would probably agree that bushcraft the Mos Moskokansky is probably the best and densest um, information accumulating literature about this topic that's out there when it comes to the boreal forest um, there, there is great books for sure out there about desert craft or whatever you call it I mean, other uh, environments, and another very important aspect um, to mention here is that, in my opinion, all survival techniques and, and survival um, mindset is bushcraft, but not all bushcraft is survival. Bushcraft is, as I always try to, to put it together, um, to craft a comfortable living with tools that you choose for your capability and um, for your ability to maintain them. Um, craft a comfortable living out there that is bushcraft in my opinion um, not just bare survival this book here is the most dense for me and clearest information of someone Morskokansky with one of the most incredible backgrounds um, who have has tried and tested everything he put in this book over 40 or 50 years of him crossing the North American continent and, and working in the boreal forest um, in all seasons and under all circumstances and this is why when it comes to a book that is um, containing information that I can use can I use information that's in here in a camping fishing desert whatever scenario wherever I am of course I can but it's a specialized bushcraft for the boreal forest and I think in, in those regards or in, in within those limits um, this is for me the one book to read I don't want to I don't want to look down or like I don't find any other books out there books that I've read about Rangers or SAS survival um, whatever I have at home that's like three times as thick um, I don't find those in inferior by any means don't get me wrong folks but with the time you have available or like I have available I would like to know what is the one book to read um, that just gets me the whole deal the real deal and for me that's bushcraft so um, please take this for what it's worth um, I hope it, it, it maybe gave you a little bit of, of a hint or like a little bit of a, um, information you can use to, to make your commitment um, and thank you very much for, for tuning in to my channel um, and I hope you also find these little series fun to watch and um, please support the channel um, share the videos like them whatever it takes um, for me to just actually keep doing these and um, 
thank you very much for your for your support. Um, wherever you are, stay warm and safe, please. And I gotta see you next time.